funny thing is though, I feel a little hypocritical filming a hair video when my hair looks like this, but we're just going to ignore it because this is my hair after gymnastics and I haven't done my hair routine because I just ran out of product, so I just bought like new stuff, so we're just going to ignore the fact that my hair doesn't look great, but trust me, my hair can look great. I just haven't put any of the products in and stuff like that. So, that's not the point of the video. That's not the point of the video at all. Today, I'm going to be telling you and reviewing the Rock Locks um, Color Me Purple and Pink hair dye. This hair dye is for like lighter hair, but I want to show you the things, I think the fact that people with lighter hair reviewed like, oh it dyes, like it makes your hair a different color, but there's more to that when you're looking at hair products and hair dye, so that's what I'm here to tell you about. I love weird conversation starters. For example, what do you think it was like to be the first lefty? Imagine being the first person to laugh. What is the best fruit combination? What is your least favorite mode of transportation? But for me, as I entered a new school starting in September, a high schooler, wow, yay me, my personal favorite conversation starter is, am I crazy, but is your hair a little pink? I'm not crazy, but I think your hair is glowing. I don't know if it's the lighting, but your hair looks pink. I don't know if I'm crazy, but your hair is like this red hue. So, I want to see, does it answer the important questions when it comes to hair dye? Is this answer the important questions when it comes to having fun, not making a mess, and... Is it going to change up your look in a weird way? So I have a couple of criteria and questions I will be answering about this product that I thought that if I had seen a product review, because I always look for hair product reviews before I do it, and they're okay, but here I'm going to give you what I would have liked to know. Does it stain your ears and your scalp? Does it make a mess when you apply it? Does it stain your bathtub when you wash it out? Does your hair feel dry and crispy afterwards? Does it kind of work on dark hair? Does it smell good? Is it easy to use? Does it smell like a kid would eat it? And does it make your hair feel like it cracks? Okay, let's rapid fire this. I used the pink one, and I used a little of the purple one, but I'm mainly talking about the pink one in this one. I'm pretty sure they're gonna work the same because they're the same product. Okay, does it stain your ears? Actually, no, it doesn't. So when I use other hair products, my hair... Okay, this is a really funny story. I dyed my hair the same day with a different product. The same day, I was gonna go to get my knee checked out. And my ear and, like, complete head was red. Now, I use this product, and not only does my hair tint more, but it didn't dye my scalp and look like I got punched, like, punched in the ear, so go over this product. Does it make it best when you apply it? Actually, no, it's super easy. You just need to get a towel, put it around your neck. I use gloves just personally because, you know, but it didn't really stain my hands that much when I accidentally got some under my gloves, so the gloves aren't completely necessary, but it didn't make it best when I applied it. You just put it through, like, normal hair conditioner. Does it stain the bath when you wash it out? This is the big one. Because last time I tried to dye my hair with a different product, it looked like I murdered someone. Asked my mother, she did not enjoy it, did not enjoy the whole murder scene bathroom, and the fact it, it took like me and my brother to like clean it up because it was bad. This one didn't. Like, all the extra hair product, it washed out, went down the drain, and didn't stay in my bathtub. And when I tell you this happened, I, this made me want to use the product more. Because it was so easy to not act out to clean up. Like, I used it, it did what I wanted it to do. And it didn't make a mess! This is a big thing for like, people who have to clean up their own messes and parents. <laughs> Did my hair feel dry and cr crispy after using it? No. I think that a lot of hair dyes, like, they coat your hair and they don't actually dye because like, the hair dyes without bleach, they just coat your hair. This one didn't make my hair feel crispy and I actually, I still kept the normal curls that I have in my hair. On top of that, when I was using other products, like leave-in conditioners and other stuff, it didn't come off my hand, and it's a big thing, so I would have had to hate to come to school with my hair, hands like completely red, because I just put hair product in my hair after I recently dyed it. It does give your hair this cool little red hue. I'm going to insert some pictures here. It really matters lighting when it comes to dark hair, but for light hair, if it does this for dark hair, it definitely works for light hair. Does this smell good? Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like almost like a. F it smells like my fruity childhood. Like something about. I don't know. It smells really good. And it doesn't smell like to toxic chemicals. And it doesn't leave your hair smelling like toxic chemicals. And the smell doesn't come out a lot when you're washing your hair. So if you don't like the smell, it isn't that bad. Is it easy to use? I already mentioned this. Yes. Squirt on your hand, comb it through your hair. Um, and boom, your hair is a different color now. Does it smell like a kid would want to eat it? This is really weird, but if someone's worked with kids, I know they want to eat everything. This smells good, but it does not smell like something you'd want to put in your mouth. And that is a big thing when it comes to finding activities for kids. Does it make it feel like your hair cracks and did I have a crack off? No, my hair actually, I recently found out, like, new ways to take care of my curls because I never really knew how to do it when I was younger. So I'm learning, I'm learning with all of y'all, I'm learning how to do the curl thing. And it didn't make my curls crack off and it didn't stray my hair, which a lot of hair products have done with past curly hair. Also, I get some of my friends who dyed their hair before they started using bleach when they dyed their hair, like their black hair, 
it would strain it because of some chemical and it would strain it. And here it actually allows you to keep your natural curled length, type, and whatever your hair cell is, which is good because you can have curly hair and be pretty like it. You don't need to have straight hair to be pretty. And one thing I was thinking about is when I had my, I used to have a sleepover for my birthday every single year. And this is great for something because we always had like tons of activities planned, but it would always take shorter than we actually thought. And then we'd like just end up being bored. And so this is something you can do. It's super easy to clean up and it's actually really fun. Well, now you know that this is easy and cheap and super fun and healthy for your hair because if you're trying to convince your parents to let you do this, they might be like, oh no, I don't think that's good for your hair because that's my mom's big thing. She's like, you can't bleach it, you can't do all this stuff. So I try to find products that I can actually do, like, have fun with and meet those standards. So you can, I think this is a very easy product to convince your parents to let you get. It's like $4. Um, there's a lot, like, it has for lots of dyes, like, for lots of tries. And it lasts 5 to 15 shampoos, and this is really trans I've had. It does work better with layer brown hair, but it says on the product, so... No, no, they're not lying to you. It's cruelty-free and vegan, infused with argan oil, which is really good for strengthening your hair. No sulfates or parabens, so it's healthy for your hair. And it's made in the U.S. of A. So, I would check out Rock Locks. Just look for Rock Locks in stores near you or on their website. And... Start your new adventure, learning how to dye your hair, bro. Like, you gotta start somewhere, and I think this is a great product to start with. Thank you for staying to the video. I hope you enjoyed my review on the Rock Locks hair products. And um, I will see you next Saturday with another video. Bye!